When I'm working on a project as part of a team, OneNote gives us the flexibility we need. We can set up shared notebooks to work together, like this one that five of the team members have already added information to. You can also distribute notes and information in a different format for those who don't use OneNote. Let me show you some of the possibilities. My team is developing a new company training program. Since we're all OneNote users, I'm going to create a shared notebook for the project by going to the Share menu and clicking Create Shared Notebook. I give the notebook a name and then click Next. Multiple people will share the notebook on a server, so I make these selections here. Even though some people on our team spend a lot of time traveling while others work at the branch office, we will all be able to access the notebook on our company network at the same time. I click Next. I click Browse to specify the network location for the shared notebook. I make sure the Create an Email option is selected. This will notify the team about the shared notebook and its location. Then I click Create. I then send the email message to my team members so that they'll know how to locate the shared notebook. Back in OneNote, the new shared notebook opens, ready for us to get to work. Notice the sync icon that has appeared on the toolbar, indicating that the notebook is shared. Here's what our notebook looks like mid-project. Each time a team member adds or edits information, OneNote merges the changes into the notebook. When team members are disconnected, we can make additions and changes and OneNote will automatically update the folder with the changes next time we reconnect to the network. When I want a quick look at recent changes in the notebook, I go to the View menu, point to Pages Changed Recently, and click a time period. OneNote highlights the changes, which I can page through by clicking the arrows at the top of the page. Once we finish gathering information and composing our report, it's easy for me to copy it into Word as the final document. Collaborating with others who use OneNote is easy. But sometimes during the project, I need to involve people who don't have OneNote, either to update them about our progress or to check with them about the information we're gathering. I can easily do that by clicking the Email button on the OneNote toolbar. It automatically copies the current page into the body of an Outlook email message. This lets people review the page and send me their input without making actual changes on the page. Alternately, I can publish my notes as a PDF file simply by going to the File menu and clicking Publish as PDF or XPS. These are just some of the ways OneNote lets you distribute information and work together with a shared set of notes. To learn more about these and other methods of sharing information, including using live note-taking sessions not demonstrated here, see the links in the article associated with this demo.